Hello everyone, welcome to the second iOS tutorial. In previous tutorial, I showed you how to download Xcode. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create the Hello World app. And also during the creating application, I will show you the different components of Xcode. So let's continue. Well, let's open Xcode. When you open Xcode, you will see two sides, the left-hand side and the right-hand side. On the right-hand side, you will see the current application that you have worked. Right now, there's nothing here because you have not opened any applications. But on the left-hand side, you will see two options. We'll worry about, don't worry about the second option, which is checking out the application from repository. And we'll go ahead and just focus on this. So let's click on it. Okay, and uh, also on this window, we have two sides, which is left-hand side and the right-hand side. And what we are working on is only iOS application, which is for uh, iPhone, iPad, and iPod. Uh, we will not worry about the OS X. And on the right-hand side, we'll see different templates here. And what we are dealing right now is just a single view application. So just select a single view application and hit next. Hit next. And you can see here, you can choose a name for your application. Right now we can say hello world. And also company organization name. Just hooks tech course and company identifier it's an identifier that Apple will uh, create to make a unique ID of your application for later on if you want to put it in the Apple store so it's usually is your um, websites reverse URL for example if it's google.com you will say com.google uh, right now we have a blog spot that looks tech. Okay, and class prefixes by default, Apple um, Xcode will create a class for your application. And if you want to have any prefix, you can add here in class prefix, but you can later on uh, change it uh, whatever you want. So let's not worry about it right now. On a device part, uh, we have different options, which is iPad, iPhone, and it means if you want to develop application for iPhone, you will choose iPhone, and it's not working for iPad, for example. But if you want to make the application work um, for both of them, you will choose Universal. So let's choose to Universal and hit Next. And then it will ask you the location of the application. You will choose wherever you want to save the application and create. As you can see, it created the application with uh, some uh, default files. And as you can see, this is the environment of Xcode. It has a uh, left-hand side, main view, and the right-hand side, and also, of course, the header. And what we're dealing right now is just creating the Hello World app. So let's not worry about anything that you're seeing in this view and just click on main iPhone storyboard. Okay. And when you look at on the main view, you will see the frame of the iPhone and you will definitely guess this is the um, view of the application that you're going to create. What we're creating right now is just the hello world. So and this menu on the right hand side, which is um, object library, you will see different options and you can select a label. You'll search for a label, which is here. Yes, and what you have to do is just drag and drop inside of your application. So you just what did you what you did what you actually did is just drag and drop the label to the view and double click on it and change it to hello world. 
and you're done. Your application is ready. This is the Hello World application. is simple, without any coding, and you just hit Run. This is the Run button to see your application is working. And this is the simulator. Then you can see what you designed. and your application is working so follow the next tutorial which I will continue showing the different components of Xcode. Have a good time!